Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at going through the programming settings in your new AG900HD system. So we're going to learn and work with how to go into programming settings on your AG900HD system. To get into programming, what you're going to do is you have a fun button right here. It's also the center button. You're going to hold that down until the PO on the display screen comes up. Once the PO has come up, you'll start with PO, which is your soft start, soft set time. We won't have to change anything on there. The first thing we're going to have to go through changing is our P5 setting. So you'll hit the increase button until you get to P5. This changes the speed of your gate and it is defaulted at 05 that is the five seconds of runtime that it's going through in fast mode um, we recommend we to default it to either 11 or up to 14 we'll go ahead and do it to 14 for now once you have the time that you have set you'll hit the phone button again you'll get a small beep and that saves that setting you then can go on to the next setting that you can set the next one is P6, which is auto close for your exit sensor. If you hit the fun button to enter, it is defaulted at 10 seconds. We recommend we put this up to 30. Thirty seconds, once you got that, again you'll hit the fun button, you'll get a beep, and it will save. The next important setting to go over is your P9 setting. This is the auto close for your remotes and keypad if you have any. So what you'll do, same thing, fun button, it is defaulted to zero. So it's very important to set the auto close for this if you're wanting it. And again, we recommend setting it up to 30 seconds. Once you got to that point, you'll go ahead and hit the fun button to save it. Next is our PC setting. This is our radio receiver setting. This is defaulted at 03. What this allows is for one, if you have a dual gate, one button will open both gates and another button will open just one gate. We recommend out of um, sheer confusion, we set this, if you have a dual gate to 02, or if you have a single gate to 01. 00, zero basically defaults it to just being off and the new remotes will not work. So for our case, we have a single gate, so we'll set that to 01. And if you have a single gate, you'll need to come to PE. Inside it is set to 00, which is dual gate mode. You need to set this to 01 if you have a single gate. After you're done with that, um, to exit your programming settings, all you will need to do is hit the red learn button here, and that will get you out of them. To reset your programming settings, go to P little O on your board. Then you will need to hit the thumb button. You will see two dashes, then hit the thumb button again. You'll get one long beep for confirmation. This will bring you back to PO. Note, this does not reset your remotes or keypads, only the programming settings you previously set on your board. You can now go back through your settings and reprogram to your preference. Make sure to hit the learn button and exit out of your settings. For any further questions, please visit our website in the description below. Thank you so much for watching.